Okay. I think you gave a fairly longish answer. A lot of questions have come in my mind, so I'll play them one by one. Yeah. Um, one point, I, I just love the perfectionist versus controller thing that you come up with as an idea because discipline in that very sense can become a blessing and a curse in the same line itself. Uh, so now my, uh, what I understood of your longish answer, certain points came up and were quite beautiful. Uh, I think one point that works is when you are working solo, your discipline can be, uh, can be a great advantage to have because it gives you a certain realistic deadline. You play to your strengths. You uh, also specified that when we work with teams, you bring this discipline as an asset rather than making it a liability by forcing it down other people's methodology. Like some people, sure. um, I, I remember, it's a good point that you made. My uh, art partner, when I quit uh, and started working on my own, uh, quit my job and started my own agency, my mm -hmm. art partner was uh, was a typical creative guy so he would not work at my pace in the sense of my time but he was very clear he says you give me the deadline don't tell me how to work i'll mm -hmm. figure out my style so initially because i was also handling clients and he joined me full time later so i used to get very worked up because suppose three o'clock the client meeting is there till two he would not give it to me and i would be on the edge but Time and again, once once I could trust him, I realized that every time he delivered, it was a superlative job. Yeah, I, I learned mean. that look, he is keeping his word and he is doing a wonderful job. Then I don't need to tell him how to discipline himself. He can work late in the night. He can work early in the morning. Like very often, I think uh, he used to. I used to send him lines uh, in the evening, and he would mm -hmm. say, I work "Late in the night, you go to sleep." Don't bother discussing anything with me. You tell me any points that you want. Uh, and yeah. in an ad agency, a copy and art team work like husband and wife almost. Like no, yeah. a very strong, strong uh, sense of togetherness and harmony. True. So after the first two, three weeks, I realized that, uh, listen, I cannot be putting the rules for him, even though I am facing the client. But mm -hmm. I him understand, look, don't uh, embarrass me by changing deadlines. So he said, I will always let you know in advance. If I'm unable to deliver, I'll let you know that I'm not delivering tomorrow. So morning I would wake up, it was there in my mailbox and nine out of 10 times it was good stuff. So mm -hmm. I was quite satisfied. Once in a rare while, if there was a problem, then I would tell my client something or I would figure out how to solve it. But most of the sure. time it was working. So the second point that we made for me as well, the discipline was subjugated only to my end uh, of things and I did not force him to apply the same rules for himself. Very, very true. Very, true. very, very good. Very because we, are to, we need to give results. Uh, very good. And then the third point I liked what you said was within our own work uh, regimen. Right. The discipline also has to be understood as when it's when it is helping us and when it is harming us. So, for example, True. you mentioned a very good personal story of um, late nights. Say, if you're working, yeah, needs to satisfy somebody else's deadline uh, or mood or idea of creative, then if you make them pay, if they are really serious about their subject, they'll pay. That's true. They'll tell you, okay, okay. If sometimes I have found clients are wasting time, they just want to see some more options for the heck of it. True. So this also cross checks whether they are disciplined because financial discipline is also one thing. If you yeah. are ready to put X number of hours, you are looking at a certain kind of payment. But if you are going to put another uh, personal life moments on hold, whether it is mm -hmm. health or family time or friends time or any other commitment we have, okay. then that needs an equal, uh, equal compensation by the other party. True. Because I, I know I have some friends, uh, music composers, who charge on uh, a daily basis, on day basis, like 
they charge you according to uh, hourly day matlab say if you want to ask uh, this guy uh, to compose a music or produce a music for a film or ad whatever he's going to charge for those 12 hours for a day and within that 12 hours everything is going to figure out if it crosses the 12 hours uh, the bill goes up so it's i mean there are some changes happening and uh, it may take some more time but uh, i i can i can see it happening within the new age production houses new people uh they're following because this 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 whole thing of uh, following a discipline i think the new age uh, production houses the new age people into the art industry are slowly getting it because it's directly indirectly affects the mental health yeah so my question is uh, i want to personalize this question uh, this aspect um uh, when you are talking discipline say you are talking to i will ask you a real time question it is industry specific but it is open ended you are a you are a single composer or you are a team of composers together you are you get a client that you have been waiting for like a big big studio movie studio hollywood bollywood anybody they are willing to work with you they like your work but they have a different setup of working aha uh-huh. and uh, you've been waiting all your life to get a break like this because this makes you reach out to uh, a lot of people but you have a certain problem with the disciplinary aspect of it because like say suppose you have set a rule that every 12 hours uh, my billing uh, will change mm-hmm. they say we will not we will give you project cost that's the and we'll keep this right. other things but sometimes it may happen so my question to you personally have you faced a situation like this uh, in your own life and when you have how do you uh, maintain the balance between practicality dealing with the world and your discipline uh, uh, this kind of situations happened to me many times uh, uh, when i was like 24 25 years old uh this is briefly after me and prashant almost stop working together uh after that when i was started taking projects on my own uh there were some really good projects but uh it's 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 a uh, i don't know uh, it's the mercy of god she can say or it's by far the luck uh, the, the the people with whom i wanted to work the uh, like the bigger production house the bigger client uh they have approached me with a sense that uh, this is what we want i mean we want you to compose a music for one of our uh, projects and uh, it would be great if you can you know, tell us the budget costing time and everything so so far i've always been very transparent in conversation with each and every client till date and i keep it very clear and like like politely very transparent where i say things like uh i'm quite happy that you contacted with me and if that you want me to compose music for this project of yours because i've been a big like follower of your works and the kind of things creative stuff that you guys been putting out and i've been finding myself very lucky that is the the fan part of me says that it's amazing and i'm ex- really excited but the other part says that does my work ethic work makes any sense with your work ethic because You know, even though we have a mutual respect for each other i don't want it to be a situation where that respect in this complicated mess of work becomes invisible somewhere in between because that's how uh, creative people are like you guys are creative people i'm also creative people we have we do have mood swings we do have certain things you know if you don't feel the vibe of a, of a project it just puts us in a very negative space and if you don't enjoy the project then you could have been working in a multinational company the corporate guy could just be a doctor you know i i actually bring this kind of topic conversations when i talk to these guys uh, the production houses client of film directors then i then they immediately ask me sure what do you want i said i have a certain few pointers how things work out with me and my team uh i have made a pointer a sheet just go ahead just have a read when we get time it takes 2 minutes to read and whatever point is you have you send it to me and we figure out a way that we can work out in a very stress free environment i think that is the most important thing we discuss over here uh even 
they say the like they come up with things like uh, yeah chal but you know the production so we i mean the channel guys are telling us they're forcing us to submit the track in the next 3 days exactly so let let them stick to what the deadline is can we to work out with the metrics so that i don't have to sacrifice my boy to late night activities and you know late night sessions and then things getting complex you know what we need to do is we can figure out few things like getting into the little technical details what exactly what are the things that need it what is it need like exactly so they say if you have some pre made music tracks or something maybe we can work on that it saves us a little more time exactly so why is that why is it happening because uh, we talked about a stress free work environment and if there are already pre made songs available from your side maybe we can tweak a little bit here and there and that buys us a little more time and that gives us a little more space to work on yes exactly so these are the point is what kind of music so we work uh, like like i said uh, there have been opportunities in my life and i've always been taking risk from day one where i have to look at the all i have to look at all the sides from all the angles from all directions like if i'm doing something my excitement of working with this one of my favorite production houses is is a different thing compared to my working with the professional with these production houses so i do not mix them up when i'm working with them and i and i've been very uh, lucky because uh, i always had this kind of transparent conversation with these guys and they always tell me that shall uh, we cannot work on these things late night thing i mean so, so we have to submit it by 3 am or 2 am so i says bro i i'm totally into this project but this is the only problem that i have if it's still bothering you and your relationship with the client you can feel free to go ahead with someone else because uh, that is that shouldn't put us into a bad vibe between us i would say totally go ahead with someone else and i'm being very real about that the next day he calls me up says uh, i bought some time let's do this together <laughs> wait wait i so, don't forward i want to pause here because this is huh. very similar to what i go through sometimes you go uh, beyond the call of uh, duty also sometimes you really go out and do something extraordinary within a limited time frame and then they say the client has changed the brief or something else and there is always time yeah it, uh, that's a industry problem i think uh, also second uh-huh. what i like mm-hmm. about audition so far uh, i am sorry for interrupting you but you cover a lot of ground i want to bring in the values that you are covering because those are so beautiful so one point that came up to me was uh, when you said that you put your discipline forward and you are talking to somebody who is a bigger entity than you are in the market uh, they still respect it and they come back with a solution so what i realized was discipline leads to clarity not only for yourself it also leads to clarity for the other person okay when i am dealing with uh, abc vishal in this case this is what i will get this is the time frame this is the kind of money and these are the problems and problems obviously every individual will bring with him or her the, their own set of problems so sure. so discipline could be one set of problems like i uh, i was talking to somebody in uh, an earlier podcast i was listening to rehman's uh, interview with Uh, arijit singh or something uh, one and a half hour uh-huh. so he talks about working in the night and that's the time that is most comfortable in <laughs> well it works for for him because sometimes you want to sacrifice your needs saying that i want to work only with rehman because of a certain kind of work that he gives me so those uh-huh. things you change your discipline to adapt for a higher cause true very true i think or sometimes Yeah, and sometimes even in in my position sometimes if i look at my team and these are like like how i was when i was 24 25 years old and how these guys are they say i'm 35 i'm getting becoming 35 this april with mm. so uh, what i see is if i look at the situation where the team work is going smooth and they are actually getting more inspiration towards late night work then it's the it's the iska पल्ला कितना भारी है इवन आई एम लीड इवन दो आई एम लीडिंग द प्रोजेक्ट आई लुक एट दीस गाइस दे गेट मोर इंस्पायर्ड टू वर्क इन द लेट नाइट टिल 2 एएम 
So I tell these guys to get full sleep in the afternoon or evening and then work in the evening time. My only concern is that your body shouldn't get destroyed. And sometimes I do change rules because in the end, So sometimes it works that way also. It's not that I have to, so now this is where my discipline is, is changing slowly for a certain period of time, depending on the, on the moment. And this is what improvisation is again. I just improvise it. So instead of late night work, go completely ignore kind of time. We can uh, ignore working in the afternoon, get full proper sleep so that we can work in the late. So sometimes it works. It's not like always. Yeah. But if, if you ask me, if I'm working on some project, just me, like alone, then I strictly follow this. Like this is completely. 